That's what I hear every single day. That guy just taught. <laughs> What's up guys? We made it to work. Got my BG cup with a protein shake. Trying to trying to be in shape, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> but we're at work. Um, it's the first of the month. Gonna take it really easy today. Um, because it's going to be a short pay period because we have the day off on Monday for Labor Day. And I don't know. But anyways, um, right now it's 7.48. I clock in at 8. So usually at this time, I either go use the restroom, go brush my teeth. If I forgot at home, yes, I do have a spare toothbrush here at work. <laughs> um just hang out review my hours and make sure i got paid for what i was supposed to be paid and hopefully it's a cool day today because i'm trying to go home <laughs> i'm trying to relax it was a hectic pay period like non-stop up and down over time and i managed to land basically 200 hours which is if you think about it that's that's a five week five weeks of pay so yeah um see what happens so we got our first job of the day looks like it's just gonna be an a1 with some bg products and brake fluid exchange so yeah we got the epr basically it's an additive we put before we do the oil change kind of dissolves some stuff inside the engine and yeah brake fluid so pretty easy job let's get to it my stuff you is know, here a seal and an o-ring okay cool for the b20 3902 there's our key Go do our job. So we're in the customer's car and typical, always pass due on maintenance. But anyways, 817, so that's oil change, tire rotation, and brake fluid extraction service. So um, let's go ahead and start it. 1.5 turbo. All right, let's get to it. I'm not gonna show you guys how I do the service. I'm pretty much just showing you guys what I get done in a day. So this right here should probably take me about half an hour to 40 minutes, depending on how quick I am, but um, easy stuff. At this point, I would let the car run. I would rack up the vehicle, put the arms under the vehicle, and rack it up and do my tire rotation. Do a quick little inspection under the car, make sure nothing is torn, leaking. So typically right now, the Civics have an issue with the condensed compressors leaking. This one looks pretty clean.
So I just reset the maintenance minder and I already logged in my information on the computer. Got an RO right here, got an RO right here. And we're gonna go road test it, just make sure it's all good for two miles and turn in our work and go to the next one. It's 9.30, so it took me about a little over an hour or under an hour, um, cause I've been recording, so kind of working a little bit slower than usual, but um, let's go get our next job. So second appointment is, looks like we got Fakras. Um, we got a uh, oil change, engine and pollen filter, and ATF drain and refill. So, took an RO, let's get to work. Only pays 2.4 plus the Fakras, that's probably gonna be another 1.4. Looks like we got another BG service here. BG bullshit is what I call it. EPR, MOA, these two are for the oil. Uh, automatic transmission additive and I guess for the fuel this is for the filter and then we got the oil filter ATF and then we have a pair of the filters right here and we have a fuck rose here fuck rose connector so I'm gonna do the service first so in case I do find any recommendations I will give it to the service advisor and while I'm doing the Fakras, um, that gives her about an hour or so to try and sell my recommendations. And then we'll go ahead and perform the recommendations if something is found and sold. We're starting at 9.42, second job. Trying to cut back on some sweets, trying to cut back on some bad food and energy drinks. So, got a little substitute for energy drinks. So, my mom showed me this product right here. Basically, it's pre-workout drink, energized. But she said it's it's some good stuff to like drink throughout the day, like at work and whatnot. So, kind of keeps you going. So, I got two of these. Got two of them and I'm gonna pour them in this hydro flask here. And then got some snacks throughout the day. Got some pineapple, coconut, um, sweetened water, pudding, <laughs> some smoothie, fruit, blueberries, and a peach. Just trying to be a little bit more healthier, guys. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, it's made by Shackley. So Shackley, sponsor me. <laughs> Basically, we're just gonna Yeah. Then we're gonna get our gonna get our cap and just close it up and mix it up. Alright, so we just got done with our service and now I'm gonna do the Fakra connectors. Don't wanna get too much into detail with this, but basically all it is is extending wires so that they don't get creased. Basically, I have to remove this whole piece right here, this piece right here. Got to remove the cluster, the the stereo. We got to pull it all forward because we're going to be replacing the cables with these. And then we have two more down here, and that should be it. First launch. <laughs> Food trucks here. But anyways, I'm already going to start doing that recall. So basically these red and green connectors, you can kind of see how the curve, it's kind of curved. 
they don't like this because or honda doesn't like this because it makes the the speakers crackle and pop like snap crackle and pop <laughs> the cereal rice krispies but anyways all we're doing is basically pulling these out and we're going to be extending them so we're going to be extending them with these wires and i'll show you guys what i did so basically all they want you to do is do quarter size loops so back into the connector another quarter size loop and then straight through to the plugs you can kind of see they're straight now so this is what they want so we're gonna put that back in we're done with this first lunch what the hell what you get fucking rat burrito <laughs> rat burrito yeah and chicken nuggets Fuck, i hope they're chicken <laughs> what they made know. out of I don't know. I haven't tried them yet. I'll let you know, though. Oh, shit. Open it up. I want to see it. I want to oh, see if it's juicy or not. Oh, my God. Come on. <laughs> no, not the chicken that you lose that. What is that? Dude, I don't fucking know what it is. It's a wrap burrito. It's going to fucking give me some A wrap food. or a rat? Rat. Like, Subway sewer rat. Oh, my God. Show, it, uh, show, show the camera what you got from the taco truck. The roach coach? <laughs> the Roach Coach. How much was that? It's fucking eighty-seven dollars. <laughs> Jeez. So what is that? I see egg, ham, sausage, bell pepper. That that's not too bad. Yeah, Why are you a, complaining? It's a food poison burrito. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fire. Trust me. <laughs> All right, I'll let you get back to your first lunch. Let me know when you go to your second. <laughs> hey, I'll let you guess. Okay. <laughs> so we're just gonna make sure. All our controls work because I did remove this whole thing. Our audio works. Don't want to get copyrighted, but yeah, we're going to go on a road test. We're going to make sure our tire pressure is good. Tire pressure. That is not correct. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go see what's up. So I finished that job at 11.43 and it pays about... 2.4 plus the 1.4 for the Fakra connectors and now we gotta install this window visor um, I think I'm gonna go to lunch after this one because it seems like we're slowing down so I'm just gonna go to lunch wait to see if vehicles come in and then go from there well this made my job pretty easy it was literally dangling so all we gotta do is unplug it right here and install the new one oops and because this is a warranty part, we have to return the old one back in, but basically just pop it in there, twist it, and it's locked. And just like that, it worked. So I just got done with the sun visor job and looks like we actually got another job. We got an A1 with rear brakes. Check the battery. I always check the battery. What the hell? You need to tell me. But yeah, it looks like it's in the older Odyssey, so hopefully we can recommend a few things. If not, then all well, but i think i'm still gonna go to lunch it's already 12 o'clock so i'm gonna go to lunch i'm gonna go turn this the visor car back in so that's what i got so far looks like we got paid 0.3 for that one so we're gonna write it down right there 0.3 that's what we got so far i fucking hate this like why why do you do that? Why do you think this is okay to do? <laughs> okay. So here's the Odyssey looking kind of kind of dirty, but looks like they got good tires. But I'm going to try and see if I can find something to sell. Usually I check the brake fluid that doesn't look too too bad but also not too great I check the filters i usually check to see if the spool valve is leaking that one looks fine check the condition of the power steering fluid check for power steering fluid leaks on the rack itself there's a lot of things you could check and recommend but again you don't want to be a piece of shit and start recommending stuff that the car doesn't really need because again do you want that to be your mother or father who gets like recommended all these things that the car doesn't really need immediately. Like, I don't know, karma, I guess. 
Sorry, I just punched out. We're about to go eat right now. Um, made, made a burrito, kind of flat because it's two small ones. So we're about to go put that in the microwave and heat it up and eat it. So we got all four of the bolts torqued. Those two are torqued. Then we come over here. These two are torqued. So while I got the battery tester going, I go to the computer and I put in my recommendations for the vehicle. Um, I think the only thing I recommended on this vehicle is the compliance bushings for the front. So here's our other vehicle here. It's a, it's a pilot. And when vehicle is at idle, makes electric, electric sounding whir noise. Sound increases when accelerating pedal is depressed. Acceleration. Please check and advise. But let, let me show you guys what it sounds like. You hear that whirring noise? So if I come over here and unplug it, the noise goes away. So to me, that is an alt a bad alternator. So all I did was just disconnect the alternator plug. See if I could do it right here real quick. So I went ahead and unplugged the alternator plug. Now let's turn on the vehicle. Let's turn it on. The noise is gone. Let me show you guys real quick. You hear that? Just plugged it in, it's already making the noise. And just like that, work has died down. It's two o'clock. I did see a truckload of PDIs outside, which is a pre delivery inspection. So if those get written up, then I guess that's what we're going to do for the rest of the day. But. Uh, if I check to see how much I've done today, so far I did my eight hours actually. That is what it is when it's a slow day, but we're gonna eat our jello right now since it's already the afternoon. Still gotta survive for two more hours. I think I'll clock out at four, half an hour early, whatever. Uh, we'll stick around, see if work comes in. If not, then might as well just go. So it looks like we got um, looks like one of them hasn't been closed out right here, which was the pilot diag. So technically I would have about nine hours if I do get paid for that one hour diag. So nine hours for a day that I'm taking my sweet time on, not bad. <laughs> 